Well, I just wanted to ask him some questions. His uh, his uh, agenda was good-paying jobs and uh, things like that, and I just wanted to see what his take on a on a good-paying job would be. I'm sure that uh, the proposed power plant doesn't uh, have really high-paying jobs, and I just wanted to see what his take would be. And I'd like to meet the governor just to to say I shook his hand. I supported him, and I feel that uh, I, I will. Uh, keep supporting them. Well, I'd like to ask the governor, he was supposed to tax the gas plants. Uh, that He ran on that. He was going to tax them. And, and now they're trying to set this up in a KOZ zone, which is tax-free, until 2023. It seems like there's a conflict of interest or something's not right. Uh, I didn't know this was a private tour. I came here to see the governor and maybe have my voice heard. Uh, it seems like they're just trying to push this through and big money is is the cause of it all. They have uh, national commercials on TV right now. Uh, I don't think they're telling us the truth. There's a lot of uh, pollution that will come from this plant and right now we don't have a plant. I understand in the sense of global warming and climate change that we should close coal plants. Put it somewhere else. Pennsylvania is a large state with very rural areas. We can put it there. It'll still give us the jobs that the unions need. We're not anti-union. We just don't want this plant right here. It's too close to our residences. I don't want to be controversial. Okay. As simple okay. as that, all I, all I wanted to go in and say, Governor, it would be a pleasure to meet you. Mm -hmm. I realize that you're probably the most innovative man in a business in the state of Pennsylvania for many years. You know how to think outside the box. You know how to make things happen. You as governor, you are the man that can do things. You are the guy that can change things. You are the guy that can be innovative and bring jobs to Pennsylvania. All I wanted to say was to introduce myself and, and ask you to please make the job agenda the number one priority of you as governor and change Pennsylvania and be forever known as the governor that changed Pennsylvania and moved forward and created jobs. But they asked you to leave the property? They, yes, I was I was asked to leave and uh, he's coming out now so I'm leaving. The board plant is going to be right here Wait, was he asked to leave the property for a specific reason? This is private property. I'm actually asking everyone to leave. I just don't oh, think it's okay. right. I think they're wrapping up. Okay. Well, I need this area clear. So. Okay. All right. well, you want to wrap up? Wrap up no, somewhere else. Not okay. here. Not many of us. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I'm sorry. I hated that. Hello. How are you? Hey, how are you? <laughs> Um, we heard last night about this year um, meeting and it just was so coincidental that it was happening three days before our very important curative amendment hearing which is Monday and we were a little fearful that he might be here in some way to be promoting the power plant. I would like to tell him our concerns. We feel they're very legitimate. We're concerned about pollution. The power plant is letting people think that this year's situation is going to be we come in and we decommission a coal plant. We have no coal plants in this area. It's We have nothing here. You're going to come and add to our pollution, not take away any of it. Then there's the water issues that we're very concerned about, how much water they're going to be using daily. And then there's environmental issues. There's also property issues. There's so many issues. I'm asthmatic. I will tell you just the thought that there's going to be additional pollutions in the air here that are going to affect me has me very worried. And also, um, the noise. They've already had to have our zoning, our noise ordinance increase for them. Am I going to be able to sleep nights with my windows open? I live close to this plant.